Every day I come down in the reef cave, no matter if I'm working 12 hours, no matter if I'm working eight hours, no matter if I'm off of work, I will come down and I will look at all my tanks and I'll just enjoy it. Enjoy your success. Hey, what's up reefers? I'm Reefer Matt. I'm not an influencer or a content creator. I'm just a real reefer like you. I make these videos to share my reefing journey, so feel free to share yours with me, Reefer Matt. Hey, what's up reefers? I'm Reefer Matt, and welcome back to the Reef Cave. Well, it's been a minute since I did a video. Sorry about that. I've just been real busy at work and had a lot of things to do lately, but hopefully I'll get back on track. Today's video is my top seven tips for a successful reef tank, such as you see here. So let's get to it, shall we? Starting off at tip number seven, research. Make sure you're researching before you buy things. That way you know what you're getting into. You'll know uh, what equipment you gotta get. You'll know what space requirements you have, whether if you've been in reefing uh, for a long time or if you're just getting into it. Researching things ahead of time will save you a lot of headaches. And number six, make sure you're getting the right equipment for your tank and for the livestock that are in it. This is an SPS tank, so it does require a lot of lighting and a lot of flow. So make sure uh, once you figure out what your plan is for your tank, you don't have to get it all at once, but uh, make sure you're adding on as you go. I certainly did that with the flow and the lights in this tank. I added on uh, this reef bright fixture here. I started off with two castles. I used to have black lights. Black box light, sorry. But uh, I switched over to the Kessels because I wanted that Kessel shimmer. And eventually I went to the four lights and then I had to get this reef right fixture because I was getting a lot of shading in between these colonies. So I just upgraded as I went. I didn't have to buy it all at once, you know, as these coral grew out. But I'll just make sure that you're adapting to your tank's conditions and you're getting the equipment that you need uh, for the livestock in the tank. Hey guys, here's the part where I'm asking for your participation. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. What that does, it lets YouTube know that you like it, and it'll make it easier for other reefers to find this channel too. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. And number five, no impulse buys. What this means is when you're at the store and you're looking at livestock, don't buy one that you think just looks cool and you don't know anything about it. Make sure you do that research and um, know that you have the proper tank and equipment to take care of it. And tip number four, participate. Uh, whether forums are your thing or social media, find a group and participate in the group. You'll learn a lot, you'll make friends, and uh, it makes reefing a lot easier when you're not doing it solo. So I highly recommend finding a group somewhere and participating in the community. And number three, make sure you're looking at your tank. I know this one sounds kind of silly, but uh, a lot of people, they don't look at their tank every day you know, they're busy, they got, you know, a million things going on. But if you run into a problem, you're not going to know it if you don't see it. Every day I come down in the reef cave, no matter if I'm working 12 hours, no matter if I'm working eight hours, no matter if I'm off of work, I will come down and I will look at all my tanks. I'll look in the sumps and I'll make sure that there's nothing going on. Uh, usually I can tell when I walk in the room, I can hear some water splashing or something, you know, if a filter sock needs to be changed or you know, something will sound off to me when I walk in the room. So usually that'll give me my first clue, but then I look around, I'll make sure I'm looking at the tanks and I'm, uh, you know, looking in between the rocks, make sure no algae is popping up, make sure, you know, I got some cleanup to do down here. I got to do a water change with uh, some snail shells I got to get out and some detritus. So things like that. Uh, you never know when your equipment, for instance, may not be working, uh, especially, uh, you know, it may fall down. Hopefully it don't. And I cause a problem with the coral or if you have sand, it'll blow the sand around. So uh, just make sure that you're looking at your tank. Uh, that way, you, if you have a problem, you can fix it in a timely manner. And tip number two, maintain that tank. Get those water changes done. Make sure your equipment's nice and clean and everything's running properly. Go ahead and clean the glass. That'll let you see any problems that are happening in the tank. It'll also just give you a sense of pride when you see how well you're doing as well. And tip number one, when you get things dialed in, leave the tank alone. Don't go messing with it. Just let the animals be animals. 
Uh, only interfere when you have to. Try to keep your hands out of the tank. And uh, just enjoy it. Enjoy your success. And just stay ever vigilant of any problems that may pop up. But uh, once things are dialed in, just leave them be as much as possible. But make sure that you're still watching, though, uh, just in case any problems come up again. Well, guys, that'll do it for this video. Up next will be the uh, monthly update video for November. That'll be next week, so I'll see you soon. Happy reefing.